Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Hey, we gotta save. We gotta save. It's been a while. Oh, hey, man. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first-person view mode. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different, too. No. Oh. You'll need some kind of explosive to destroy the wall. Like C4 or something. Take a good look around the armory. Okay. Four, one, four, one point. Oh god, I don't remember. Was it 80? The other dude. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. Oh, thanks. I'm kind of wondering if this is going to be level based. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's the number for saving again? I forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> is it this one? Oh, geez. Is it 140, I think? Yeah, is it going to be like levels? Level 1, level 2. Am I ever going to get back to a safer place? Or are we just going to be in Alaska the whole time and it's going to be like super high strung the whole time? You caught Snake? Yes, I would like to save. Thank you. Snake in China, they say. You must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad bread. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's eager to give their two cents to me. Okay, I have to look at the walls and see if they're different. Well, these this wall looks a little bit suspicious compared to the one next to it already. Ish. Wait. If I hit it. Oh, do you mean hit it like this? Okay, that's definitely suspicious, but we don't have C4 right now. We don't. So that's a thing. Yeah, that dun 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 dun. That's the weird one. Oh! Wah! Excuse me? Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake! I don't know what happened either. <laughs> was there a sign of that? What, what was that? What the hell? What did I step on? Was there a sign of that? I can't tell. I'm just looking on the ground right now, but I can't tell. In particular. Can you? Uh, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Is it possible to predict that that would have happened? No, I'd like for you to... Level 5, we're not getting anywhere. If there's nobody here right now, that's a good thing. Level 1. Oh, C4. C4. Give me some C4. No smoking, they say. Oh yeah? You know what? How do, how do I smoke? How do I smoke? Oh, I lit it. I lit it. Oh, dude! Is my life going down? Are you serious? Wait, how do I, how do I stop smoking? <laughs> what is that even for? For like cool factor or maybe it's like actually a plot point later on I have no idea camel uh the floor does look a little bit weird there I I'm scared now I don't know wh uh what number is that three uh 
turns normal-ish. Maybe avoid standing in the middle of the, the hallway. Two. For mass. What's this? Oh! Oh, there's multiple. There's even more behind the thing. Okay. Is that a sign that I should be killing people? Hurting them more? Maybe. Oh, yeah! Even for the grenades and stuff, I can only have up to three. Right, so I should probably use these supplies then. Otherwise, they'll just go to waste. But the best thing would be to not get caught at all. Grenade. Right, see, like, I don't think this actually... Uh, no, this one gave me a grenade. Eight grenades. Frag grenades. Just killing people grenades. Whoa, alright! C4. Plastic explosive. Square to set. Oh, wait, 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 this is that hallway again. Oh, man. Ah. Here, right? Aw, uh, All right. No! No! Why did I open this? Why did I freaking open this? Okay, now I gotta find more. Hmm... I haven't walked over here before. No, 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 can you put away the C4 first? Thanks. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's a weird one. But if you look at it, does it really look that different? It's just more- slightly more cracked, but is it... Like, color-wise... I guess it's a little bit different? The sound makes it easier, though. Ow! Okay, got a little bit cocky- <laughs> Cocky with the distance there. Just refilled my C4. Okay. That actually took half my life. When I see a ration, I'm gonna have to take it again or something. Put away the C4. Different colored. I'm mainly checking the outer walls right now. Another way to approach this might be to think about, hey, where could they possibly even have a hidden room, right? You can't have one in the middle because, like, that's not a hidden room, that's just the actual room. <laughs> but yeah, like, it can't be- it can't be this kind of wall. Can you? <gasps> okay, so don't- don't stand in the same spot for too long. Just go past it. Wait. That wall seems differently colored, doesn't it? You're too close, I can't see it. Maybe I can, like, try to get in one of them from the... Blasting inside? Oh, you can sort of see the gap- did you see? You can sort of see the gap on the ground there, where there was, uh, the previous trap. Okay. Noted. Maybe here. No? Yo, hey, anybody want to help me? Oh, no, not you. What can I do for you, Snake? Not Talk yet. See you later, Snake. 85? The walls that were submitted over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first person view mode. Okay. Walls that have a different pattern. It's gotta be the outer wall somewhere, I feel like. Come on, dude. Yeah, this seems like such a perfect spot to have a thing. Okay, I'm gonna look at this again. It's too close, I can't... 
Oh, I'm so scared of standing in the middle here. Oh, okay, that makes it really obvious, but you have to stand further away to see that. Yeah, they just put some cement over it. Okay, I see, I see. I see. But yet again, see, it has to be the outer wall because you can't... You can't, you know, have a room, a hidden room on the inner sides. All the armory didn't give me any rations. Now my health is just sort of like really low. Maybe I should take a rations right now. Yeah, better be safe than sorry. Why is my thing jammed? I don't like that. What? For a second, I thought the room was pressing in on me. The wall? Um... Alright. We have a room that's fully... What am I aiming for here? There's gotta be something in this room. Oh. Here. Yes! Yeah, now we learn how to look at it. One of these explosions is gonna catch someone's attention, I swear. Hmm, if we don't have a jammer, maybe making more use of the first-person mode would be a good idea. Okay. Okay, so, do you mind if I go back a little bit first? Because, um... There were previous rooms that we opened where there was C4. I'm just wondering if I can pick more up, because I only have one C4 left. They probably would give me more anyway. But I'm not sure, say, if we had 3 out of 4 C4 and then we pick up a whole stack, then it probably just exhausts the entire stack, right? I, I don't get anything back. So I might not be able to pick up anything anyway. But I'll... Maybe... Have a quick look. Yeah, there was C4 in this room. Okay, there we go. Woo! Oh my god, are you serious? Don't be like that. Why are you being so scary? Oh, is this a room? Hold up. Level 4. Huh. Will we ever get the key card upgrades for the other levels? If so, this might be a place we have to come back to eventually. I kind of get the feeling we will get it, because one of the very first rooms that we saw, wasn't it like level 2? It just feels like a th kind of thing that we would go back to. There's a camera. Ah! 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 Maybe this will be a good time for... That wasn't even just a security camera, that was a whole ass century. Can I still see? Oh god. And I can't see its field of range. What number is this? I can't see the number! It's not one though, I don't think it's one. It's six. I kinda cheated. <laughs> Can I walk while I'm... I don't wanna chance it. I'm kinda low on health. If I hadn't taken that ration, I think I'd be dead right now. Oh! What? Hoping I <laughs> if I stayed still, it would stop shooting, but it kept shooting. Oh, how far back are you gonna put me? Okay, that's not so bad. <sighs> well noted. Did you? Okay, and let me keep the rations and stuff. So does the does the cardboard box even help then? I don't know if it does. I can't move, right? Okay, I don't even need that item, because I... This is a level one... I don't need it because I probably can't pick it up. I'm guessing it's the SOCOM bullets. It looks like it. No? Okay. 
Maybe we should look behind us? Oh! Yeah, put rations right beneath the damn thing, why don't you? Oh, nearly walk wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so scared of... Yeah, that's what I wanted. Um... Are we still doing this? I should be using my grenades if I... Yeah. I should be doing that, right? The electronics one, but... Where is my goal? Where am I trying to go? Are there walls here that are different? Both of the doors are not openable for me. Okay, maybe I'll just use a grenade here so we can look around a little bit more freely. It doesn't last forever, though. In fact, that was pretty short. Well, that wasn't a way to go. Is that it for this area? There's gotta be more, right? None of those were... breakable, and then this is just going back the way we came from. Um... Help? Do you have any tips? Snake, there are gun cameras set up there. If they detect you, they'll open fire. Yeah, I learned. Stay out of the camera's field of vision. You could also try to jam them with chaff. Yeah, I figured that much. 96? No, no, what was it? 85? 80? I can't remember the frequencies. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires Oh no, that's it, that's it. I'm just checking every now and then. Okay. Maybe this isn't the way to go then. Not that I can see anyway. Should I go back the way? Ooh! You saw nothing. So there's nothing. Oh, hold up. No, no, that's just. What is that anyway? I have no idea. Oh. Oh! Here we go. So that was an extra thing that we opened, but we couldn't even do anything there. <gasps> Whoa! Is that Baker? Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. That was superhuman reaction time. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I see you have a code name too. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Wait, 
Wait, they're not letting me. Oh, okay. Maybe I was freaking out too much. I need to shoot him back, right? Or maybe I can throw some grenades. Which is a lot more uncertain. But then the guy in the middle is gonna die if I try to do anything. I love to reload during a battle. Is that guy in the middle dying? can't see you, but I know you're there. How do I reload without... Don't you want to settle this? I don't know how to... Whoa, I don't know how to reload. So I've been a bit... Okay, we don't need to shoot that many times. Just shoot like once or twice. But to you, the smell of your own death. Oh no! So that was on my bullets. Oh! Okay. Snake, are you okay? Snake? It's our first boss battle here. We have to manage my own health, not kill Baker. I don't know if it's okay to use a grenade here. Oh god! I love the smell of <laughs> You idiot! Whoops. Oh! Oh my god! I make them go where I want. Come on, buddy. Ash, aiming is so hard. I love the reload to reload. That was perfect. All right, I'm alive. Let's go. Ah! Wait, I'm not. I don't even have my gun out. What the hell? You better ah! hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. I couldn't see him, I was just spraying a little bit. Thing. Can I punch him? Get back up, Snake! Shoot me! Shoot me! Okay, but not like that. Whenever he has to reload, he stops. That's what I was aiming for. Shoot at me or something. Slow down. Oh my gosh, those ricocheting bullets. Oh, I'm out of bullets. No, there's a little bit more. Shoot. Ah, uh, that wasted the opportunity. Oh! Yeah! You're yeah! pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. You were expecting me. What? 
Oh! Oh my god! Whoa! Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who is that? Who are you? Is that like a cyborg? That... that exoskeleton! Well, you're not on their side, you hurt the guy. Whoa! Well, that guy doesn't seem very in control. Thanks for the assist, I guess. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Oh, no. Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. We might need Everyone some of those. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. Is he lying? Case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> mm. It looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? No. Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? Oh, Meryl. I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... No. Oh, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. What? I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. 
I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. There will always be war. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Oh, wow. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. The planet only that, but is crying. Not pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. Just in case, they all say. Just in case. And then everyone starts escalating their levels. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. Yeah, I'm this a grunt. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it no. from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have they didn't one even take your question. key card. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. Oh yes, that's the concern here. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does. Oh, the heart attack. Huh? What? Every what time. What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... Wait, is the government the one doing this? Because he mentioned that all the people with top secret codes have surgical implants. What the hell? Can you activate a heart attack with a surgical implant? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't this mission lie is to me. a failure. You look like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? 
Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, the back there's of the a CD lot of case? electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? What? Snake, what would he say? I'm counting on you. But he just said you would know and you're just like, nope, I don't know anything. I don't know how much I trust that. Oh wow, okay, that was a lot of information. Hold on, let me let me go in order here. Uh this this fight took me a few tries. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize until this fight that you could actually run and gun at the same time, because up until now, oh I don't really want to use my bullets to, to try to show you, but. Oh, oh I got more slots, more capacity for everything now, huh? It's three out of six now. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we have a few more bullets later that we can pick up again, but essentially, when you try to aim, you just aim on the spot and you pivot on the spot. But if you aim and press the crawl button afterwards and then hold both at the same time, then you can hold the gun aiming while running. Which really helped in catching up to the guy because otherwise, you have to aim every time and then there's a little animation in raising the gun, which makes it so that it's really difficult to catch him as he's walking around. So it took me a little while to figure out, but I'm, I'm glad we know that now. Okay, back to this dude here. Very curious why the DARPA chief told us that he talked. But this guy tells me, Baker tells me that they, sh they, they don't have to talk because... Yeah, they have surgical implants to prevent mind reading from happening. We might have an imposter here. Yeah, wasn't there a scene earlier that said somebody died and they couldn't get the codes? I thought it might have been Baker, but we got to meet both of these guys before they died. So who died in that scene then? I'm curious about the surgical implants they mentioned, too. Everything just seems so dodgy. Oh, number four. So we have number two now. M.O. Disc. Optic disc containing Metal Gear exercise data. We didn't even come for this. Level two card? Okay. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> they mentioned that Meryl could be contacted with, uh, what? If I look on the back of the CD case. The back of the CD case. You can see the manual in game. Is this the back of the CD case? Oh, she's! 140.15? We could try it right now. 140.15. Oh, wow. That's. That's insanely fourth wall breaking. I love it. <laughs> I did hear that Metal Gear had all sorts of weird things going on like that. That's pretty cool. 140.15. Oh, so this is the, the CD art. Yeah, the size makes sense. It's like a square. Okay. Let's see. 140. Oh, okay. Oh, if you press down. Oh, you don't have to do it like. I see, I see. I thought you had to manually do it. No, 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 no. The DARPA chief and President Baker. Okay. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? <laughs> Yes, I was gonna go check that. 140.15? Yeah? Oh, they did say that, uh, what is it? They're doing burst transmission right now, so I might have to get out of this area first because it's jammed. But what about everyone else? Oh. First, this guy's okay. The DARPA chief. And then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No, 
but there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. They both die after we rescue them. Like, why? Someone's watching us and they, they know exactly when to pull the trigger to kill them. That's really what it feels like. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna save here, if you don't mind, thanks. Alright, cool. Be careful, Snake. Thank you, thank you. And we'll call Meryl after we go out. Here, right? Mm, I still feel like I'm struggling a lot with the controls, but I, I hope that's something that'll improve with time. Ah! I need to get more bullets. I don't feel good about how not stocked we are right now, even though we do have a good bit of grenades and stuff, but yeah. Oh no! Oh, there's. You're kidding me. There's people here now? Boy, can't catch a break. And now that we have the level 2 keycard, we're gonna be able to access more rooms here too. But even then, there's still so many rooms that we can't open. Maybe this is just one of those places we're gonna be coming back to pretty often. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Oh. That? Uh, that doesn't look like I should walk across it. <laughs> We've seen plenty of traps here already. Uh, shaft grenade, maybe? Anybody? Oops, no. Does anybody want to help me? It looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. Oh. Another one. Oh, I can call Meryl now, probably. Our radar's not jammed anymore. But I'll do this one first. 141.52. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're Pleasure. the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? Unfortunately. The cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Okay, that's very cool, but you didn't teach me anything about the infrared sensor. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, please. Snake, that room is set with infrared sensors. You should be able to see them if you had some smoke. Uh, oh, cigarette smoke or something. What? Sorry, but these are smokeless cigarettes. You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on secondhand smoke? Oh, well, don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of the infrared sensors, you should be able to see them. That was a good idea, bringing the cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke too much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They are bad for you. But it makes the pain go away temporarily, right? Oops, sorry, I'm sorry, that was... A snake that <laughs> is set within... Thank you, thank you. Alright, I, I gotta call Meryl too, but let me, let me figure this part out. Wow, the cigarettes actually do something. Aside from make me... Oh! <gasps> Oh, you mean like, wait, am I supposed to crawl here? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm already crossing it. Oh, wow! Damn! What the hell are they talking about? Smoking's the best thing that ever happened. Best thing humans have ever invented. Okay, that might be going a little bit too far. No use. 
What does it say no use? I can't use it? Oh, I was crouching, so I wasn't allowed to use it. I see. Okay, cool. Alright. Awesome. Mm, before I forget the number, can I call Meryl now? 140.14? Who are you? Yeah. I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Not liquid. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. They were My so beautiful. Eyes. They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, <laughs> compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. This guy's such you a womanizer. My feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no uh, I don't think so. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? No. Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Hmm. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Wait, because under official capacity? Because special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, still revolted. that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, mm. you met Baker, <laughs> huh? How's he holding up? Dead. He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. You want to help? <sighs> What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Hand well, it over. I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. 
You just killed you someone for the first for time today. second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. <laughs> I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Wow, there's no shortage of women around me, huh? Lots of info there, yet again. In the middle of us being standing right in the, the armory. <laughs> well, I was in the cardboard box, so... Yeah, people can't see me like that. Or something. Meryl, Meryl, you better... I... <laughs> the DARPA chief and Baker died, but I can't let you die because I promised the colonel. So, you gotta stay alive. Oh, I, I have to have the key card. <laughs> I was like, why can't I get out? Okay. Oh man. Ooh, shiz. I think that one was a level 3? Couldn't really see it. Oh! I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe I should try hurting somebody. Because I feel like I don't have any confidence in how to do that right now. And this is a fairly controlled situation with like two people here. Like I can I can punch them and choke them. Oh my god! Okay, that wasn't I forgot I had the gun equipped. Having the gun equipped means I couldn't punch. I, I shot my gun. That was very, very stupid. I'm ah. Do you think it'll work if I hide, hide inside a cardboard box? <laughs> okay, no, no, it doesn't work. That was so dumb. Let me try, like... Oh! Okay. Woo! Okay, that- that was so stupid. I- <gasps> I hate myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, now that we've already did that, maybe we should practice a little more. Yeah, like, if you don't have a gun, then this is, like, this is punching somebody, this is choking somebody. Okay. Good mistake to make early, I think. Let's try- let's try doing something to these people. Are they walking faster than usual? Oh, but they're kind of in a row like that. I don't want them. That guy's smart. He's not walking at the trap. There's a trap here. Okay! Hey, 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 we're learning. We're learning. You can choke somebody. 
I kind of flipped them over earlier. So I think that was, uh... If you want to flip them over, then as you're choking them, or before, while you're choking them, you have to press the directional key. I think. Do you want to try punching that guy? Because we can. Oh, but cho so that's like a... Mm, I see, I see. Oh, God. Okay. I see. Choking is silent. Punching is not. Makes sense. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, now that I know, how far back are you going to put me? Okay, well, you know what? This is an opportunity for us to do better than last time. Yeah, do you want to choke everyone else first and then maybe walk around like that? It'll make me feel a little bit better. Get some practice in. Or... something. Oh my god. OH MY GOD! <laughs> oh no, his friend is right there! No! I hate myself. Okay, I think I'm learning that it probably works best when the person is standing still. Because if we try to chase them, then it turns into a throw, not a choke. Uh, can I catch up to them without killing myself? Thank you. All right, now we can look around in peace, absolute peace. But from like the perspective of like a uh, being a good stealth person, being a good spy, probably not letting anyone know that we were ever here to begin with is um it's considered harder. Yeah, because if you kill everyone, usually in a more modern stealth game, like I don't know, Deus Ex or something, not the old ones, the the newer ones, I would probably opt for killing everybody on the level because I wanna read the um, I want to be able to read the documents on the computers and all that, and all that, but I don't think this is a concern here. We haven't seen any readable computers and whatnot, so yeah, I don't have to kill everybody. If I don't want to, if I can, <laughs> for Moss. Didn't get to look at this last time. Yeah, assault rifle. Nice. So it doesn't actually say that this the assault rifle is better than the pistol, but I assume it is, right? Higher damage and all that. This one has automatic fire. Anyway, we don't have to sneak around anymore because I can just go around freely. I'm gonna just grab all the stuff without killing my. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I have too many bullets already. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's go then, I think. What about. Oh, yeah! Did I get this one? Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. Jeez. <gasps> I'm gonna get PTSD from this. Oh, I have to call everyone on the codec again. Hold on. None of it's saved, right? Yeah. Okay, one second. It is just like Baker said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear materials. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. Nuclear materials, nuclear engineers, and manufacturing technology. All three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. Yeah, once something has been invented, it's not like we can uninvent it. They say that there are 500,000 nuclear engineers in the world, but... After the end of the Cold War, the demand for nuclear engineers dropped precipitously. In the Eastern Bloc countries in particular, there is a tremendous brain drain. They cannot keep their scientists in the country. And each year, more and more nuclear engineers go to work for the highest bidder. Which oftentimes is also the, um, the biggest evil baddie. Hmm. I guess Nastasha just drops nuclear facts on me every now and then. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, were there any level 2 doors on this floor? Let's see.
No. Yeah, I guess we'll be coming back here again sometime, huh? This one's level one. Yeah, alright. Let's go then. <laughs>